So we have torque. Torque is RF. What is R represent? Distance. What distance? Why isn't it torque equals XF? <coughs> X is a distance too, right? What does X measure? What does X measure? Distance from the origin to wherever you're doing your business, right? And where's the origin? Wherever I want to put it. We don't have X in this equation. We have R because R is different. It is a distance, but it is a distance from a predefined spot. The distance is from the point of rotation. Now, there may be more than one point of rotation, but it's not anywhere. It's wherever the thing can rotate about. Therefore, we use a different symbol. Even though they're both distances, they're not from the same spot. And then we use F perpendicular, which means we need to find the component of force that is perpendicular to R. And so lots of times it'll be the cosine, but not always. So that's when we use this basic formula when we're solving, you know, you're standing on a bicycle pedal, what's the torque? This is, you know, like a wrench. Cranking on a wrench, what's the torque? <coughs> that kind of a situation. And then we have, if you're in a balanced situation, where you're like a teeter-totter or some arrangement like that, where you don't want it to turn, you have multiple forces in play versus just one, multiple forces, and you don't want it to, to move. So one force is causing clockwise rotation, one force is causing counterclockwise rotation or something combination like that. And you want it to balance, so then we use the sum of the torques equals zero. We'll solve a couple problems here today to kind of get a sense of how we use these. All right, so here's just a basic one. <clears throat> Pedals of a bicycle rotate in a circle with a diameter of 40 centimeters. What is the maximum torque the 55 kg rider can apply by putting all her weight on one pedal? No, okay, we solve the problems the same way. What do we know? Mass equals 55 kilograms. What is this number? What symbol does it have? It's a distance, right? So it is the R. That's my R, right? Ah. <clears throat> That's my diameter. So what is R? 20 centimeters, right? Which is equal to 0.2 meters. Okay, so what's my picture? Well, there's my pedal, rotates about one end, and rider applies a force here. This is R, and this is the F. And we're just going to use some sort of torque equals RF. What is F? Is it just 55? No, what is it? Mg, it's her force. So the, the force is Mg, the weight of the, of the rider. So we've got 0.2 times Mg of the rider. And I actually had made a mistake and used 0.4 in here. I had actually made that mistake in my calculation this morning. So I don't know what this number works out to be. But you can plug these numbers in. So 0 0.2 times 55 times 9.8. Grind it out, you get a number. <clears throat> That's the answer. Now recognize again, torque, there's clockwise and counterclockwise. There is a convention that one is positive, one is negative. For our purposes, we don't care. 
I'm not going to ask you, you know, clockwise is negative, counterclockwise positive, whatever. I'm not going to ask you that question. Just know that there is, though, so that maybe if you want to do the MCAT exam or something like that, you can solve it. Go ahead. Uh, why is it 9.8 negative? Is it 9 .8 negative? Good question. For our purposes, what does the negative give me when we've been using all the way along? What's its purpose? Direction. Because in here, I don't really care about the direction. I just ignore the minus sign. That's all. Is that fine? Is that satisfactory? Go ahead. I can't hear you. What? Well, it's not millinewtons. That's a good... So if you read in the books and stuff, the units of torque, well, what's the units of R? Meters, right? And the units of force are newtons. So we actually write it FM so that we don't go with exactly what you said. We usually write it as, as I mean, not FN, newton meters as opposed to M newtons. Because then if you read it M newtons, we always make the mistake. Everybody does is exactly millinewtons. But it's actually newton meters is the unit. There is no fancy unit for it. That's just it's just awkward unit newton meters. It is an awkward unit. <clears throat> Any other questions? Okay. So what does the number get calculate out to? What? One hundred seven point eight. Newton meters. Okay. So that's pretty straightforward. Now here's the problem. It's a homework problem. MP stands for Mastering Physics. So if you look at the videos online, there'll be MP whatever. That's actually Mastering Physics questions, if you've looked at the videos. So calculating the torque on a nut. Lewis uses a 35 centimeter long wrench to turn a nut. The wrench handle is tilted 30 degrees above the horizontal. What force must he apply to exert a torque of negative 17 Newton meters? Again, the minus sign is kind of irrelevant to us in this problem. Hey, I have something acting at an angle. What do I need? Well, torque is RF. What is R? 0.35, right? 0.35 meters. What is F? F perpendicular is what I need. So I got to look at my picture here. They gave you this picture in the homework. If you remember from before, this angle here is the same as this angle there. Just, this is exactly the same situation as being on a ramp. So what is F perpendicular? It's going to be F times what? This is the perpendicular component to the R, right? Because this is R here. That's the adjacent side, so that's going to be F. So sine is opposite, ka, cosine is adjacent. So that's F cosine theta is what the F perpendicular is. Torque is going to be, so R, F, cos, theta. What am I solving for? F, right? F is my unknown, so that's torque divided by R, cos, theta. Gives me the force I'm looking for. And I know my torque is 17 divided by 0.35 multiplied by cosine of 30. If I plug and chug and grind that out, I get 56.01 newtons. The challenge to this problem was just figuring out the component. You got to get that component. There's a couple other questions like this in the homework. Recognize you got to use the component, the, per the perpendicular component. Go ahead. Speak louder. Isn't so let me repeat your question so I think I understand it. 
Are you asking, isn't that thing perpendicular? Where are you again? There you are. What does perpendicular mean? At a 90 degree, to what? Now, this has to, so in, in torque, the, the, the F needs to be perpendicular to R. And where's R? R is along the wrench. And so that is not, that's perpendicular to the surface, but it's not perpendicular to the, to the R. So it has to be perpendicular to the wrench. And the wrench is like this, and that's like this. So I need that component. Does that make sense? Good question. Any other questions? So it's like when we had a block on a ramp. We had to find the components of gravity that were perpendicular to the surface of the ramp. And this is similar. 